When Western powers arrived in the New World, they began a complete and utter genocide of the indigenous peoples they found. Some natives tried resisting, but all their rebellions were ultimately unsuccessful, and by the 19th century, all indigenous tribes and civilizations were completely wiped out or under the yoke of Western powers. This is the outlook that is widely accepted, but it is not entirely true. There was one native rebellion that proved successful, and on today's episode of Bet You Didn't Know History, we're diving into it. Let's go back to the year 1598 and travel to what is now New Mexico. Spanish conquistadors have just begun crossing into the region along with other parts of the American Southwest. Keeping with normal conquistador tradition, the Spaniards begin to try and subjugate the indigenous peoples of the region, known as the Pueblo, by any means necessary. The Pueblo are an agrarian society, subsisting on corns, beans, and squash, as well as domesticated turkeys. They are given the name Pueblos, Spanish for town, because they live in villages made of stone. Conquistador Juan de Inyote leads a small force of soldiers, their families, and a few Franciscan priests searching for converts and silver mines in the new region. The Spanish haven't found silver, but are converting thousands of Puebloan people to Christianity. A royal colony of the Spanish Empire is soon established in New Mexico, and construction of a capital, Santa Fe, begins. To sustain the colony, the Spaniards steal food, hides, and other goods from the Pueblos, while enslaving many of them for forced labor. Those who resist are tortured and killed. Decades pass, and things only get worse for the Puebloan people. Droughts, smallpox, and conflicts with other indigenous groups cause a decline in the Pueblo population. Because of these hardships, belief in their ancestral religious practices starts to rise. The Spaniards are outraged by this. In an attempt to keep the population Christian, they begin kidnapping native shamans, whom they torture, dismember, and kill. One religious leader does not stand idly by while this happens. A shaman named Pope spends the next five years organizing a native rebellion against the Spaniards. By August 1680, he and his force of 6,000 warriors from seven different tribes swarm Santa Fe and attack 33 Spanish missions. The native rebels kill around a quarter of the Spaniards in the colony, with the rest fleeing south to Mexico. For the next 12 years, the native peoples will live free until the Spanish eventually come back to reimpose colonial rule. However, this time, the Spaniards will treat the natives better in order to avoid another rebellion. Although the revolt was short-lived, it still stands as the only native rebellion to succeed against a Western power. Bet you didn't know that, 